to see these guys getting their legs back after these couple Yeah, days. yeah, you know, um, it's kind of that the middle part of camp. You know, we're a little bit more than halfway to the first ball game as far as practices go, and certainly uh, intensity practices for sure. Um, you know, I think kind of just to give a quick overall assessment, I think the guys are in a good spot. I mean, you know, when we when we crank it up in practice, they get after it, and I've been really encouraged, you know, by that. Um, you know, I think learning to practice is always one of the most important things you can teach your football team, and uh, it's so important to get good quality reps out there, and, and we're getting it, you know, consistently. And so I'm, I'm feel really good about the work that we've gotten so far. Uh, we a little banged up. I wish we were a little less banged up, but that's part of this part of camp. Um, took the shoulder pads off today. You know, today originally schedule-wise was designed to be a scrimmage day, but I felt like we've gotten enough contact coming in today. I felt like it needed, to, you know, we needed to make an adjustment and get some guys back healthy. We'll have a day off tomorrow, and then a little bit more kind of house cleaning items. You know, we'll start to have some um, some practices that are going to be a little bit more uh, trying to simulate game situations in the stadium. Uh, a lot of um, situational type things, special teams and and uh, and just game stuff as well. So, you know, that's kind of uh, where, where this thing's headed to, to do a lot of that stuff generally. And then we'll start focusing, uh, you know, on Colorado the end of next week. So that's kind of the way this thing's starting to line out. And again, feel really good about where we are and very impressed with the work ethic and the amount of work that we've gotten done and really like the way the guys are practicing. You know, one of the things you were kind of looking forward to is seeing who would kind of maybe come out under the radar and kind of be a surprise. Who are some of those guys that kind of caught your attention? Well, I think the last five days, I think Savion Williams has really um, done a fantastic job. I mean, he's, he's playing like we hope he would. Um, you know, he's coming off of an injury that, quite frankly, we thought would sideline him until probably midseason, and he bounced back really quickly um, and, you know, came back in the first couple of days he was filling things out. Then he's hit his stride here recently. He's starting to make a lot of plays. I think playing with a lot of confidence. I think the quarterbacks are starting to really get confidence in him as well. Um, so I'm starting to like that. You know, uh, the two freshman defensive ends have both been really impressive. Um, you know, Mike and Paul, those guys have, I think, have exceeded our expectations uh, in terms of, of making plays and doing stuff. Um, you know, Bud Clark's had a great camp. Um, you know, been been really impressed with uh, Josh Newton, what he's done, the consistency and the effort that he practices with day in, day out. Um, you know, so there's been a lot of kind of pleasant things that have happened. Um, you know, Shad Banks, I think, starting to do some good things here and there. At linebacker, starting to show up a little bit more. Um, you know, just pleased overall with the development of the offensive line, starting to see some depth. And, you know, we've bounced guys from position to position to position, which I think, again, our job is to, to always find the best five and get them on the field and to try to be unique and prepare them for that. And, and I think we've accomplished that to this point. Um, you know, quarter, the one that Trent Battle has been a big surprise as well. You know, his consistency has been – um, has been really good. He's been very productive, you know. So uh, it's, there's there's quite a few guys that come to mind. Really like what we're seeing out of the group, and and um, you know, and really like the, the again the consistent effort that we're getting day in day out in practice has been really good. Coach, you mentioned the the injuries. Is there legitimate concern there? Or is this some no, of that no, precautionary? It's, no, it's it's you know, there's a couple guys here and there that are coming off of stuff that's um, you know that. Um, it takes a little bit of time. I mean, it's nothing. I, I, right now, you know, the way I look at it and and see it, I mean, I don't see anybody maybe with the exception of Marcel that won't play week one at this point. So, you know, that's good to, to, to feel that way at this point of camp. Um, you know, we still got a long way to go. But as of right now, I think we'll end up being very healthy. I think first part of next week, we'll have most everybody back and looking forward to, you know, to, to getting out there and starting to kind of, get the game planning stuff going with the guys that we think we're going to go in the game and play with. What's your thought on playing true freshman? Yeah, anybody that can help us win, we're going to play. I mean, that's that's the deal, especially in today's world. You just got to kind of, you know, while they're here, I think you got to take it year by year. And, and if they're ready to play and they, we think they can help us, then they're going to play. So there will be a number of, uh, of the true freshmen, I think, right now that will play. I think very few of them will redshirt, honestly. Um, and, and I think a lot of those guys will have significant roles on special teams early. And then, you know, their, their reps, I think, will increase as the season progresses. And uh, getting on the field more and more just in offense or defensive situations. Is, is Major ever hard at special teams? Team yeah, so Major's, Major's had a good enough camp. Major's at a position where we got three guys we feel pretty good about.
Uh, but also Major is one of those guys that's incredibly talented, got a ton of speed, got a lot of upside, has had a really good camp, has uh, been very consistent, and again, thinks think in some ways he's probably ahead of where we thought he'd be. So I'm encouraged by that, and it's like anything else, we'll kind of see uh, with Major what makes sense, and again, if he can help us win, we're going to play him. What about uh, Jordan Hudson? I know you have a lot of depth at Yeah, I know Jordan will definitely play. Yeah. Yeah, expect <laughs> yeah. Jordan to play. Yeah. Expect Jordan to play significantly in, um, you know, on teams and also, you know, be in the rotation. Coach, you've done this for a long time, coached a lot of good quarterbacks. Is it fair to say that this quarterback battle is probably one of the tougher ones you've had to watch? No, no not at all. I mean, I think, you know, there's been ones where, uh, quite frankly, that we've, you know, had quarterback competitions in the past where, you know, it was more of a survival than it was a competition. You know what I mean? In other words, it was just like, who can be the least bad? Um, and so, you know, that's been, that's, you know, we've dealt with that from time to time and year to year. And then, you know, somebody wins the job and then you manage those guys. And that's just the way it is. Um, but the good thing is I don't feel that way at all. I mean, I, I'm very optimistic about, about our quarterbacks and whoever it is that goes out there and plays, I have a ton of confidence that they're going to play at a very high level. So I'm not worried about the position at all, honestly. I mean, um, I feel really good about it. I have a ton of confidence in those guys. I think the players do as well, and, uh, and and I think that's more important, honestly, than it is, um, you know, how I feel about them. And, you know, and I see good things from those guys all the time, and I'm talking like high-level good things on a daily basis. And so, you know, it's like anything else. We're just trying to see which one moves the team the best, manages the game, you know, doesn't turn the ball over, um, and, and, you know, makes plays. And so, but I feel confident about uh, two of them for sure, and, and – <clears throat> I get more confidence every day about Sam, you know? And so I like the position. I think we're going to be good at that position. I think it's a, it's a battle of good players. And, uh, and so I'm, I feel really optimistic about it. So your, is your timeline for that, for when you start prepping for Colorado? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's same old deal. You know, we'll figure it out, kind of see, see where it goes. Um, you know, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that tomorrow. Quite frankly, I haven't really talked about it much as a staff up to this point. Um, We'll, we'll have some meetings tomorrow. We'll do a mock uh, travel squad. We'll talk about some depth chart stuff tomorrow. It'll be the first time that we've looked at, talked about a depth chart, quite frankly, as a coaching staff. And so we'll do that tomorrow um, as, as the day off goes. And, and then, you know, the quarterback conversation will happen a little bit tomorrow. And then we'll evaluate it and see, you know, and kind of see, see where it goes from there. Could it be settled tomorrow? I don't know. I mean, we'll, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, I think your guess is a little <laughs> better. How, uh, this is a, t a question outside of TCU. How concerning is it to see kind of the trend of the, the quarterback battle? He loses, and now now we got guys leaving camp. You know, how hard is that to manage? A yeah, roster? yeah. You know that's it's that's a little discouraging. I mean, I think I don't know. I don't know really know what to make of that. I mean, again, I think sometimes you know we sit back and we look at situations and we make judgments and we don't really know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And so. Uh, you know, the LSU deal is, I'm sure, what you're referring to. And, and so I don't really know what happened there. I don't know what the situation is. I know that they have three quarterbacks. It was kind of a three-quarterback battle. One of them had some snaps there, and some other guys didn't have many or any. Uh, but beyond that, I don't really know. And so I think, I mean, I think that there's obviously all these things are considerations. You know, at the same time, you know, you always want to do what's best for the players. In other words, if, if, if we had come out of spring and one of the quarterbacks, we knew he was going to win the job, we would have, you know, declared a, a quarterback competition over, had a quarterback, let the, let the backup know what's going on, and, and then make decisions that are appropriate and good for, for their well-being. Um, but, you know, I, 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 there's, it's always a concern, but I think, you know, just knowing these, the guys on our team, um, I just don't think that's going to happen. Um, but it is kind of big picture stuff. It is a little concerning and worrisome. You know, and I think for us as coaches, so much of what we used to do was roster management and projecting and, okay, you know, this guy's a freshman, this guy's a sophomore, this, you know, we're going to project this, we're going to project that. And, you know, it's just more difficult to do that in today's environment uh, with, with all the stuff that's going on. And so, you know, it's like anything else. This is our team. We're going to coach this team. When the season's over, you know, we're going to continue to recruit the guys that we're recruiting now. When the season's over, we'll evaluate 
you know, the positions of strength and positions of need and go out and try to address those as quickly as we can, you know, whether it's high school players or junior college players or the transfer portal. Is, is it fair to say that you look at it more now as a 12-month? Oh, I look at it as a 24-hour deal. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I wake up in the morning and you coach the guys that are here. You know, the good thing is we haven't had any kind of issues with that at all during fall camp, and I don't anticipate we will, but I think, you know, it's a 24-hour deal, and it is what it is, and, and uh, you just have to adjust and look at it that way and, again, figure out how to make it work for you.